uh hello so uh, we are going to uh, present a powerpoint on deterministic finite automaton dfa so first we are going to see that uh, what is dfa uh, we know uh, that dfa is actually a finite state machine which accepts or rejects a given string of symbols by running through a state sequence uniquely determined by the string and here deterministic actually refers to the uniqueness of the computation run next slide so uh, here according to a definition we are giving that in dfa for each input symbol one can determine the state to which the machine will move hence it is known as determin deterministic automaton uh, deterministic as i have already told that it means that there are finite number of states uh, so the formal definition of a dfa can be uh, represented by a five tuple format where we have q uh, summation delta q not and capital f uh, Q is the finite set of states. Summation is a finite set of symbols called the alphabet. Delta is the transition function where delta denotes Q into summation, that is Q, and Q naught is the initial state from where any input is possessed, and Q naught belongs to the capital Q, which is the final set of states, and capital F is a set of final states or set of q uh, capital f is basically a subset of the capital q the final the finite set of states now uh, we can represent the dfa in the uh, graphical way that is uh, dfa can be represented by diagrams called state diagram the vertices represent the states the arcs labeled with the input alphabet shows the transitions the initial state is denoted by an empty single incoming arc and the final state is indicated by double circles now the example of a dfa will be explained by shreya so so let me determine finite automata b q is equal to a comma b comma c and summation is equal to 0 and 1 q 0 is equal to a and final state is equal to c and transaction function summation as so by the following table statement a b c and next step uh, next, uh, next state for input 0 and uh, next state for input 1. So, next time input 0, a, to a uh, 0 input is a and uh, uh, next state for input 1 is b. Then b is a, b a statement 0 input is c. And next statement state for input one to J A. Then final statement C uh, statement input to J B. Then uh, next state uh, input one and which is C. Then diagram its graphical required as representation would uh, be as all as follow A to B. B, uh, B then A uh, A to 1 uh, as C to B to C C is the final step B to our 0 then C C to our back to B then uh, uh, the, then then C is final step uh, C to look good to 1 so next slide uh, for um, some question on DFA, asking get exam, 
with the next slide is Subha Jyoti. Hello, sir. I am Subhajit Parmokar, and as my uh, mates discussed uh, discussed about the DFA, I will discuss about some of the questions which were asked in gate exam. First question is, which of the following are false? And there is a diagram of DFA. The first option is complement of LA is context. LA is the diagram here and the complement of it is a regular language so it is also uh, context free uh, so it is true this is not false the option 2 is also true but the option 3 is false and 4 is false so the answer is B next slide please Hello. Yes, yes, I'm getting. Move to the next slide, uh, Shreya. Okay. This is question two. Here, the question is about let N be an NFA with N steps and let M be the minimized DFA with M states recognizing the same language. Which of the following is necessarily true? M is less than or equal to 2 to the power N. N less than or equal to M. M has one accept state. And M equal to 2 to the power N. As we know, if an NFA has N states, so its DFA can maximum have 2 to the power N states. And it may have less than 2 to the power N states. So the answer is option A. Next slide, please. Shreya. The question three. The maximum number of transition which can be performed over a state in our DFA. So the answer is three. So why? Because the maximum number of transitions which a DFA allows is the no number of elements in the transition here we have three elements a b c so the maximum number of transition is three question number four the maximum sum of in, in degree sorry sir uh, let me continue uh, the maximum sum of in degree and out degree over a state in a dfa can be determined as the answer will be D dependent depends on the language because the out degree is fixed but the in degree depends on many factors next slide Shreya next slide. the sum of minimum and maximum number of final states for a DFA in N states is equal to N plus 1 because a DFA uh, should have at least one initial state and it can have maximum up to uh, N final states. So the answer is 1 plus N, uh, uh, in other words, N plus 1. So here our presentation ends. Uh, thank you for listening us. Thank you. Very good presentation. Thank you, everyone. Okay.